All right, lesson 38. We are going to do the same um, lesson as we did last time. It's just more practice. Find the product of a whole number and a mixed number using the distributive property. So let's get right into it. Um, if you need a review of the distributive property, please watch lesson 37. I went over that in the very beginning. All right. So we have eight times one and three fourths. All right. So remember, we're going to break up this fraction in a whole and then we're going to multiply. So I have eight times one plus eight times three fourths. Eight times one is eight plus, if I did three fourths eight times, let's see, I would have three fourths, six fourths, nine fourths, 12 fourths, 15 fourths, 18 fourths, 21 fourths, 24 fourths. So I had eight and 24 fourths. Now, last time when we did this, I had you decompose last. This time, we're going to decompose first. I know that 24 fourths is equal to 24 fourths, which is the same as saying 6. So I'm going to have 8 plus 6, and that's going to give me 14 as my final answer. So now, instead of decomposing last, we're decomposing first and then adding. That's the only difference between the two lessons. All right, let's try another one. Seven times three and four fifths. Remember the first thing I do is break up the whole in the fraction. So I have seven times three plus seven times four fifths. That's, this is easy peasy, seven times three is 21. Seven times four fifths, if I counted by four fifths seven times, I'd have four fifths, eight fifths, 12 fifths, 16 fifths, 20 fifths, 24 fifths, 28 fifths. So plus 28 fifths. I'm going to decompose before I add. 28 fifths is equal to 25 fifths and three more fifths. That's the same as saying five and three fifths. So I have 21 plus five and three fifths. 21 plus five is equal to 26. And then I have three more fifths and I'm done. All right, let's do another one. All right, three times eight and 11 twelfths. Remember, break up the whole in the fraction. Multiply three times both of those. Three times eight is 24 plus 11 twelfths three times, 11 twelfths, 22 twelfths, 33 twelfths. Decompose, there are 24 twelfths and nine twelfths. That is like saying two and nine twelfths. So I have 24 plus two and nine twelfths. 24 plus two is 26 and I have nine more twelfths, all right? Now it is your turn. I have three problems for you. Make sure that you use the same strategy that you saw in the video. And your three problems are eight times four sevenths. Here I'm going to ask you to fill in these blanks and then solve. Sorry, eight times four in four sevens. That's gonna make so much more sense. Eight times four plus, all right, you're going to fill in those blanks and solve. So you have to do both. Fill in the blanks and solve. All right, six times eight and two sevenths. And the last one, seven and three fourths times nine. Keep up the good work and I'll see you tomorrow.